Hello all, good evening. I'm going to do a um, tutorial tonight on stew peas, Jamaican stew peas. And the base ingredient that we start with is peas, um, red beans. I'm going to use half of this bag, which will be about two cups. Um, the meats that I will use is uh, salt beef, and this is about a half a pound. I have here a pound of chicken foot already cleaned and cut up. I have here about a pound of um, pigtail, salted pigtails. And I have my flour that I've already kneaded and put down a little ball because I'm going to do a few spinners. And here is the other ingredient. So garlic, cloves, about four. Um, about three sprigs of thyme, three sprigs of scallion, one scotch bonnet pepper, black pepper, allspice, all-purpose seasoning, and coconut milk. And um, stay tuned. I'm going to come back and show you what to do. Okay, so here in this pot I have, like I said, about two cups of peas. And I went ahead and I put in some allspice in the water. And I put in um, two cloves of the garlic I split into twos. Um, <clears throat> and I'm going to kind of let this start boiling a little bit before I close the pressure cooker. Um, before I put the meat in. Because I don't want my meat to get cooked out all the way and to be so soft that it just breaks apart or melts away into the, um, to the peas because the pressure cooker cooks real fast. So I'm going to kind of half cook my peas first before I add in my meat and then um, I'll come back and show you as the process goes on um, what you do. Here I have in this pot the pigtail and the salt beef and I'm boiling it off because it's very salty. So I'm boiling it off and when I finish boiling it off, some people put it to soak overnight which probably is a better method but anyway I'm boiling it and I'm going to do it again and then start the process. Stay tuned. Okay guys here I'm back. So I kind of started pressuring the peas a little bit. I just opened the pot. Um, pressure cookers can be very dangerous if you do not own one or if you don't like using one. You can put your peas to soak from the night before. Um, or you can just boil it in um, a regular pot. The boiling process takes about an hour and a half to two hours though to get it exactly tender the way you want it. So I'm going to go ahead now and I'm going to add in the pigtail and the salt beef that I boiled off twice. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add that in to the peas. And I'm going to also go ahead and add in the chicken foot. And I'm going to go ahead and close the pressure cooker and I'm going to let it cook for about 20 to 25 minutes. And then after uh, the peas and the meat has been cooked, I will come back and show you the finish, what to do after that. Stay tuned. Okay, here I am. I'm back again. I've taken off the lid off my pressure cooker. And it's just to show you the peas are already done and the meat is finished also. You can see the chicken foot is cooked, starting to actually break apart a little bit and it actually has taken on the color of the beans and that's what you want um, the reason why the water is this light is because I actually took the um, I added in two cans of coconut milk to go ahead and boil and I'm gonna go ahead and add in the rest of my seasonings now and finish it up so I'm gonna add in the spinners that I have prepared drop all of those in there I'm gonna go ahead and add in the seasoning that I showed you before and I also added a half a, a piece of onion I cut up real small and I'm going to add in a teaspoon of black pepper and a teaspoon of Maggi uh, All Purpose and a pack of bouillon cube and I'll come back and show you um, when it's finished. Okay, here I am back again with the last video. So after it's been boiling for about another 15 minutes, just to um, help the spinners cook, which are the baby dumplings that I made and threw in there. Um, so it's, it's pretty much finished and what I'm going to do, I like mine to be thickened. So what I do is I make a roux, which is just uh, flour, I want to say about two tablespoons of flour and water, and just mix it out and, and you pour it inside the stew peas and it helps to thicken it. That's all it does. So that you don't have a, water con a watery consistency, but you have a nice thick stew that we eat over white rice. And I already have prepared my white rice. You can use regular white rice. We are having jasmine rice with it. So I will come back and I will show you it plated in a little while. But this is how it looks. See, nice and hearty. Lots of goodness and richness. 